I'm here with Mr. Darren Reddick, who's going to ask me some questions, and I can't wait. We've only got the one microphone because there's a little bit of a uh, sort of a price cut thing going on here. So I've, I've got the mic and Darren's going to shout. He's also out of shot because he looks pretty grim. Hey, Rick. Yeah, go on. Doug Coots says... Doug who? Coots. That's the bank man, isn't it? Doug Coots says... As in How many times does he say it then? As in 1977 at the Glasgow Apollo, could Rick please do Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto number two in B flat minor, last two bars backwards? The last, yep. Yeah. And that's without a pedal, because they couldn't afford a pedal. They couldn't even afford. Oh, actually. Eight octaves. Right. I, that was a. That was. I actually. Uh, I remember the Glasgow Apollo very well indeed because I wore a kilt there. It's absolutely true. The old Glasgow Apollo, very high stage, and I thought it'd be great fun to come on for the encore with yes, which it was with a with a kilt, and I got. Uh, I bought a kilt, and I came on for the encore. Did it, and I was true Scots. There was nothing underneath, and as I mentioned, the stage was very high and uh, quite a few young ladies in the front row um, who were quite excited about us coming on to do Roundabout uh, and then, then looked up and uh, saw Heart of the Sunrise really under my kilt. And so um, uh, I had to go off. What's hey, the... Rick. <laughs> Does everyone start Hey, Rick? No, just me. Right, OK. Um, Lynn, or Ozzy Bat, says... Lynn or Ozzy yeah, Bat? I don't know, it's an email. Right. Lynn says, well, if he's not going to play all of Six Wives of Henry VIII, how about he just plays Anne Boleyn, a truncated version? A truncated version? Yes. Right, okay. Well, I can only do it because, as I say, I haven't got a pedal. Oh, God, no, I haven't got full octaves either. Hold on, I'll have to move up here a bit. <clears throat> Cheap can you get? <laughs> Sorry, Lynn, but I'm missing missing Anne Boleyn's top and a lot of her bottom. David says. David says. Who's David? Who? I mean, has David it got Sharp. Be, you, David Sharp. Yeah. So D Sharp is that how he sizes his name? Brilliant. Yeah. Can you? Wonder if you married Beverly Flat. So you got D Sharp marrying B. <laughs> Carry on, Darren. <laughs> Can you play anything from Journey to the Center of the Earth or uh, King Arthur? And what are you going to be doing at the Henley Festival in July? Oh, right. I forgot about the Henley Festival. I'm not rowing, because uh, that rowing bit comes at another time. OK, a, a bit of Journey. And another little bit. Arthur. Do the last note. <laughs> I will. The uh, Henley Festival. I'm going to be doing a uh, a piano show where I sit at the piano. That's why it's called a piano show, and I tell lots of completely ludicrous stories uh, about uh, people I know <laughs> and uh, other things that they've got up to in their, in their lives, both musically and sexually orientated of course no it's just a lot of really really very serious spinal tap stories it's good fun it's it's basically the show that i did at uh, at the edinburgh festival for three weeks last year martin wells says the birdie song he opened with it for his gig in bristol 1981 was so unexpected could not stop laughing so a tribute surely then anything from journey to the center of the earth did i really do that in 1981 I don't know. Well, it, it's possible because I was still drinking and I didn't stop till 1985. So, uh, 1981, uh, I did that. The birdie song, bloody hell. Um, I cannot believe I did that. I must have been thoroughly and utterly pissed. Um, well, I'm blowed. Bristol, 1981. Hmm. I can remember Bristol, 1981. I don't remember the Birdie song, 
But if Martin Wells said I played it, then I must have done. Kevin Somerset. Kev, sorry, Kevin in Somerset or Kev, Kevin Kev, Kevin Somerset? Kev yes. In Somerset. Right. Says, what about getting Rick to play a snippet of Morning Has Broken? He might get some credit for playing it this time. <laughs> Credit. Uh, Gordon has. Gordon! Gordon, Gordon he's Gordon. alive. He's alive. Gordon uh, is he's alive. He's a few requests. Oh, God, has he? Can you play an inversion of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? An inversion? That's what it says here. An inversion? Yes. Well, that means what, with your hands around the other way. Uh, That's an inversion. Okay. Can you play three blind mice transitioning through at least five different keys? Yeah. That's five. I ain't finishing it off. They're blind and they're dead anyway. Because the old she cut off their their tails, you know, carving knife and all that. Can you play Daydream Believer using only only whole tones? Daydream Believer using only whole tones. That's yeah. really interesting. No. Uh, I like the monkeys. I was good friends with Davy, little Davy. Uh, uh, I saw him at pantomime in Camberley many, many years ago. It wasn't the most successful uh, pantomime. They were doing uh, Cinderella. It's absolutely true. It won't do very well. And on the Saturday afternoon matinee, because business was bad, they repossessed the Shetland ponies that pulled the, that pulled the carriage. So uh, overall, not the most successful panto. But lovely lad, Davy. Gordon continues... Is that, sorry, is that his, his name, or is this Gordon from <laughs> Somerset continuing, or is this, this is a new this is Gordon, Gordon continues, continues? from Glasgow. Oh, Gordon continues from yeah. Glasgow. That's his name? Yeah. Wow. For our purposes. Is it? Can you play yeah. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath in the style of Elton John? No. Okay. Uh, can, you, can you play that bit in Crazy Horses by the Osmonds? No. What, the, what the high bit? Well, I can't not in these, these trousers. <laughs> I, actually, I really like that record. I really like that track when it came out. I don't know why, but I did. I thought it was a, it was a very, 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 very good track. Do you? <laughs> do I? I <laughs> occasionally, when I, I mean, it what, may be what? my pensioners' year, but occasionally I can rise to the occasion. We had. Um, did you? I, I asked the listeners a question whether or not anybody yeah. used prog music to, you know. Oh, crikey, know, Yeah. Have you ever used prog music to a... Yeah. Yeah. Um, not very often got much past the intro, um, to be honest honest with you. Um, but, uh, yes, I, I have. And, and I, I know other people who have as well, because they were with me. Uh, yes, it has happened. I think there's quite a lot of people to... to but there's certain... Tra it's, you have to find sections that don't have lots of different time signatures because there have been extremely nasty accidents when that's happened. Because, of course, it is up to the gentleman, really, to... Well, well, not all the time, but to sort of create the rhythmic flow. And 13-8's not good. It, it really isn't good. I did once try uh, to a portion of Heart of the Sunrise and fell off. Um, so it's not recommended unless you do some serious research and then choose the, 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 the bits that you want. Could you play the bit from Heart of the Sunrise? Got to try and remember it. There it goes. And then you pause. This could be the vinegar stroke. And there you go. How about the solo? Oh, oh crikey. I can't remember it. I haven't played it for years. Can't remember it. It's something like that. It's, but I, I, I haven't played it since 2005, and I think I played it wrong then. Oh. That one. That one, yeah. Yeah, OK. Yeah. How about uh, for the end of this? We Sorry, who, 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 is, who is this now, Spick? This is no one. This is no one. You mean you say you only got seven people yeah. who wrote to you? Yeah, After well, all your announcements and right. things, you've got seven, including yeah. Gordon from Somerset. Well, exactly. Had, Gordon continues from Scotland. He had five of those. those are, and, he had. He had. This is, this is Gordon. 
Okay. Hi, Gordon. Yeah. No, 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 no. Can, 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 uh, answer to the last one is not as long as I'd like. Um, that's about the length of concerts. Right. right. Um, yeah. Uh, as well. wide as possible. That's stage, stage width he's asking about then. And seven times. Warning. Warning. This is a partly satirical broadcast on behalf of Rick Wakeman, his promoter, management, band. We are performing in this, the year that I become a pensioner. Journey to the centre of the earth at 14 venues around the UK. Please come and see us while I'm still young enough to perform. There will be a full symphony orchestra, a full choir, my band, two singers, a narrator and a woman selling ice cream. <clears throat> this journey is a little bit different because it is the original journey to the centre of the earth in its entirety, plus the missing music that was never recorded or ever played, plus a few surprises for the encore, plus hundreds of people on stage propping me up before I become a pensioner. It will be the only time that these shows will ever happen in the UK because, as I've mentioned before, I'll be very old when they're over. So if you want to see Journey to the Centre of the Earth, if you missed it the first time round, and if you want to not miss it this time around, and don't ever want to miss it again because it won't ever be there to be missed because this is the only times we'll be doing it, then please come along and enjoy Journey to the Centre of the Earth in the UK starting April the something and finishing on May the something before on May the 18th I become a pensioner Please send cards and presents to Planet Rock.